Hey guys, today's video we're showing how to flush and test the pressure relief valve on a Ream Performance Plus gas water heater. Uh, this particular unit we installed last year, about 16 months ago roughly, um, and annually it's recommended to flush the system so you get sediment out of the bottom of the tank um, so it doesn't build up on the heating element clog the drain or just cause all different types of issues this will maintain efficiency and life of the unit um, i did notice after looking at a few videos on youtube you have to be really careful uh, read your manual but also watch several different videos until you find someone that you trust i saw a video that had somewhere in the north range of five or six thousand views um, and they didn't suggest to turn off the heat or the electricity if it's an electrical unit you need to one of the first steps is to turn off the electricity or if it's a gas unit such as mine it's to uh, to cut the gas uh, turn off the gas line or just switch it to the pilot setting um, which is what I just did right there by changing that down to the pilot um, what can happen if you drain all the water out of your tank and it's starting to or in, and the unit's trying to heat it'll actually burn out the elements um, look at again look at your manual but um, please watch several videos and get a good feeling and understanding of, of what you're about to do uh, before you do it because there's a lot of bad information out there and this is not something you want to to mess up so anyways we'll get started first step what I just showed at least with the gas system is to um, kill the gas you could just do that here the simpler thing is just to turn it to the pilot setting if I turn it off I'd have to relight the pilot later which isn't much of a hassle, especially with the piezo lighter here. Um, but the easier thing is just to put it into pilot mode um, and then proceed to the next step. Okay, next step is to go ahead and attach your hose. In the case of this particular unit, it just twists on right here. And before you actually let the water out, the way to let the water out is to grab this part and turn left. But we won't do that just yet. So second step, to get your hose attached and then on the other end make sure the hose is draining in an area where it's either a drain or outside in the case of our situation here in Arizona this is in my garage so I just have the hose going outside the next step is to find your cold water inlet and turn that on next step is to find a faucet in the home where you can turn on the hot water and let it run until the, the water stops coming out Next, go counterclockwise. You can hear that coming through, and you can feel it. Hose is getting hot. And you can hear some pressure relief in here. Let's go look at the end of the hose. Okay, once you're done draining, go ahead and Tighten this all the way. Man, that's hot. You'll want to watch this uh, just to confirm that there is no leaking. They have gone to these cheaper plastic valves instead of the brass port valves, but so far this one in a couple years, or a little bit, a year and a half, is doing okay. Okay, coming back to the water line. Next, turn on the hot water to get the air out of the system. For a gas system at this point, just turn it back to whichever setting you had. In this case, we have it set to B. You can hear that the pilot light just lit up. With the burner back in action, you're all done. Now, if you have an electric unit, you need to restore power at this point, and then you're done. To test the pressure relief valve, wait until the unit is in normal operating procedures. So water tank's filled, everything's good. Um, put a bucket, definitely recommend. Um, or just have a nice place for it to clear out. But simply open this up. And when you close it, 
it shouldn't leak if it leaks. We got problems. Next, recommend recording somewhere on the tank um, what was done and the date, just so you have a record and history of all the maintenance performed. If you've enjoyed this video, maybe be interested in subscribing to our channel, DIY Around the Home, where we share videos on do-it-yourself fixes, appliance installation, car repairs, smart home technology, and just any other thing that happens around the home. Thanks.